What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another Pokemon Sword and Shield VGC 2021 Series 9 video. Today I'm with Joe UX9. And we have a very serious mission. Joe, what is our mission? Mission is to make Bofa a legitimate core so that when we use it in a tournament, people can get very upset and they think that we're pranking them. But in reality, it's the actual team name. Yeah, sort of like Nut. People didn't think Nut was a real core. When I made like videos using Nut teams in Halo Go or Shifu Thunderous, I would literally get comments saying, you're using what? So now, <laughs> we well, can, now, now they're going to be in for a treat. Yeah. Like, what's Bofa? So, so the video today, the, the goal of the video is to answer the question, what is Bofa? But before we get into that, do me a favor. If you enjoy this video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily Pokemon Sword Shield content. And be sure to check out Joe. He makes great educational VGC content, and he's a great player. So his link will be in the description. And uh, question of the day, what is a stupid team acronym that we should make? at some point in the future <laughs> anyways uh yeah so b gotta start with b i feel like the only so there, there are a couple things you can do basically with uh bofa from what i've seen is like pretty much you're uh, with like the first slot you're locked into a few different options i think blastoise uh, makes a lot of sense from the b category i think like another potential good one that could be there is like uh, Bravery is like just kind of sucks because it's outclassed by Thunderous, but I think maybe something that takes advantage of like Defiant, maybe like Bisharp, right? Or Blacephalon, which can, um, which can proc something like Colossal if we decide to use Colossal, right? Yeah, so, like, I was actually thinking, kind of, yeah, I was yeah. thinking, you know how like in 2017 we had that really not intuitive, um, that really not intuitive acronym, I forget what it was called, but E was electric, it wasn't like. A specific Pokemon. It just stood for electric. Yeah, it just stood for yeah, yeah, right. It yeah, just stood for electric. So it could be like Coco or Toga tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, like I thought. I thought maybe if we went for Blacephalon and we wanted to use Coal, we could kind of cheat and say Coal just stands for like Coal is fire. So Blacephalon fire type, even though it has to be colossal. <laughs> so just just call it F, bro. Just yeah. Call the colossal F. Just F. There we go. So. No. God. I mean, like, we shouldn't lock ourselves in anything. You know what might be a good way of visualizing this? Making what? three, or making four teams, right? Four little teams, and each one we can sort of pick and choose. So we have the Bs here. We can put, like, the Os here. So, like, all of our O Pokemon, our F. So that way we can sort of just lay all the pieces lay all the pieces out, like, before us and figure right, out so what works have, the like, best. kind of idea there. Yeah. Okay. So, well, I'm speeds. thinking like if we're cheating and we're calling it a fire type, I mean, we already have so much more flexibility in terms of what we can do, right? Because yeah. th basically, like, then you don't even need to think about Blacephalon. It could just be pretty much like making a busted ass team. Because then, like, with that flexibility, like, fire types are probably one of the best types of this format, anyways. Yeah, so... like Incineroar, Heatran, it could be anything, really. Oh, yeah, 100%. So it makes it, like, way easier. I think that um, if we go to the fire types first, because I think that's actually something, since we have flexibility on that, that's probably a good place to start. Mm -hmm. Like, what you could do is is use something like Incineroar, I think. Uh, obviously, that's, like, kind of cheat cheating, right? But <laughs> Incineroar could be, like, really good here because what you can do with it is then you can um, look back at, like, um, you know, Blastoise or something, and then you have, like, the option of, like, Incineroar, Blastoise. Blastoise can go for stuff like Yawns, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, can utilize stuff like that. So, I think something Ooh. like that could be cool. Another good fire type, too, is Entei, actually. Um, so, the reason why you would maybe want to consider Entei as well is because you'll see that, like, a lot of the, um, Blastoise teams have, like, another mon to kind of, like, go for, like, Snarls or, like, Burn, stuff like that. Yeah, and I mean, like, since A, like, we have, like, five good A Pokemon, we're not using a Bomb, a Snow, Aggron, or a Selgor. We, before we even started, pretty much, like, yeah, it's probably going to be Amoongus. Yeah. Like, Incineroar, Blastoise, Amoongus already just sounds like a viable core. We have, like, Fire, Water, Grass there. We got Fake Out, Rage Powder. Mm -hmm. We have Shell Smash if we want it. That, yeah, and you have the Redirection there as well, which is really nice. Yeah, that feels like a good place to start. Oh, might be the hardest one we've sort of established yeah. that because <laughs> we got let me hold on let me make sure we're looking at vgc legal pokemon vgc series nine. Oh, <laughs> how you feel about yeah. oddish how you feel about oddish today <laughs> Ooh, i don't know about that one man that's a little rough so 
Man, O's really screwing us over here on making our yeah. legitimate core, you know? There are no O starting types, are there? No, but there o is an ice? O starting ability. What, oh, obliv oblivious. <laughs> oblivious? Uh, hold on, maybe maybe we can like make it an oblivious mod. Let me look at all the abilities. Um, so oblivious. Is there only own one? Tempo. Own, own, own tempo. Own tempo. Uh, how can I just look at abilities in particular? I think I have to go here and then type O. Yeah, just type O. This is all we have. Overcoat. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, I mean, it could be worse, right? We're yeah. giving ourselves some options here. Like, Overcoat's a safety goggles. I think we're going to end up having to go, like, Obstagoon. Right, like, I mean, Obstagoon's there. I think, in terms of the, uh, let me look for the Oblivious Mon, because... Oblivious is like something that could actually be like pretty solid on mm -hmm. some on because it could give you like better options than like what we currently have, you know? Yeah. Um, let's I almost, see. So, I almost feel like that's too far into the cheating direction then. Because now, because <laughs> yeah. we already have F being fire. So at this point, we could just be like, oh, yeah, you know, A stands for a good Pokemon. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's very true. Okay, fine. Maybe, maybe it's a little too far. In that case, I mean, we either go Obstagoon or Ranguru. I think if you go Ranguru, um, the benefit is that you get like maybe Trick Room and like you can go for like Instruct Water Spouts. So like maybe Ooh, what you can do with the Ranguru is run it like um, Scarf for Ranguru. And then run, but run it like just slow enough that it like underspeeds Blastoise. So you can like double water spot, and it's mm -hmm. like kind of cute in front of stuff like Trick Room. Yeah, true. Or even we don't even have to pair with the Blastoise. Like I feel like we've already decided what our Bofa is gonna be. So yeah, let's uh, get rid of these guys real quick. Yeah. So like, obviously, yeah, obviously Blastoise is gonna be the main thing. I mean, it's good that we already have kind of the fire types like figured out as well. Like. It, like, you could argue that if you go Heatran, then you have the option for, like, a, a trick really room good trick room mod, yeah. Yeah, although, what you could do is, well, um, does a Ranguru get stuff like Brick Break or anything? I believe it does. Yeah, it gets Brick okay. Break. Okay, there you go. Does it get Bulldoze? Yes. Yes, I've run that. Yeah. You could do, like, Bulldoze with, like, Weakness Policy Incineroar. That's true. Or even, like, Bulldoze doesn't do that much to Heatran, even though it's times four because it's a Ranguru's attack stat. We could yeah. do, like, weakness policy heat wave stuff. Yeah, I feel like the main thing here is just going to be making sure the team isn't, like, too passive. Because, as you can see, like, we basically have three mons that are, like, super, super passive right now. Yeah, that makes um, me almost want to switch to, like... Uh, that that almost makes me want to switch to Heatran, to be honest, just because Heatran hits a little harder. Yeah, I don't even think Heatran would be that bad of a call. Um, if you're going to do Heatran, the main thing that you're going to want with, like, one of your... Because, obviously, we need to fill in the other two slots, right? Um, I think one thing we're missing right now is, like, kind of a Regilecki swap in, besides, like, obviously, Amoongus to redirect. Yeah, and um, I don't maybe, really like, like doubling down on grass types much, so Rillaboom's kind of off the table. Yeah, I think something maybe, like, a ground type could be nice. Um, so, if we look at, like, the potential ground types, I mean... I mean... We, we have, are, like, Landorus. We already, we already know the answer. <laughs> Yeah, we didn't have to and think like much. top isn't good here, so it would make yeah. more sense to go Landorus. Um, then, I mean, in terms of like what we're looking at, like this seems like generally fine. The main thing that I think is going to be the issue is breaking through bulky water types right now because mm -hmm. we don't really have anything to like break through those. We could run so around we'll a lucky. Having... Yeah, I was thinking a lucky could be good. Um, one thing that's a combination that's been on ladder a bunch uh, that's like really good is uh screech reggie lucky plus like life or blanderous and absolutely Ooh. like blows everything and plays back i so kind of like it's that like, yeah it's like really really good um i used on ladder like with uh reggie seal and like i i think i i played versus yeah it was like versus a p2 turn one the opponent just kept it in in front of me oh it was versus eeks yeah i ended up playing eeks on ladder which was really funny mm -hmm. um and then i ended up just like screeching and quaking the p2 turn one just dropped i was like yeah i was Jeez. like it's actually kind of busted so if we're going to run a Leki, uh, and it's running Screech, you know, we definitely want to run like a Sash in that. Uh, you feel Koba, Amoongus? I do think Koba is a little bit better. Um, I think, uh, you, and you also need it because you're running Sash on the Leki anyways. Yeah. So it's like kind of necessary. I mean, in terms of like the actual items, I think that you're going to want Life Orb on the Landorus guaranteed because um, with the Life Orb on the Landorus, you're going to obviously have the option of dealing a lot more damage and like maxing immediately instead mm -hmm. of having to rely on Sword Dance. One thing that I've seen on Blastoise before that's like really cool is something like Wave Incense. Um, you can, Ooh, what you can do with Blastoise yeah. 
is run like a combination between like yawn and like yawn icy wind and like water spout so you like have the option of being very offensive but you also have the option of like playing a little bit more defensive and not even water spout necessarily but i think on this team it might be a bit better honestly i feel like if we're running blastoise um i don't really think yawn is really necessary for blastoise because yeah. we, we have uh, Munga. yeah because the team becomes a lot more passive if blastoise is running like yawn fake out icy wind stuff yeah i think we might as well just go full into gmax since we're already going to be running a Moongus. we can like shell smash and stuff and i think he does get yawn Okay, cool. So Oranguru does get Yawn. I mean, uh, that's another cool thing too with like the Oranguru and Heatran is that you can go for the um, Bulldo stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I'm wondering if... So like, this is... Does Heatran still get Eruption this gen? I don't believe it does. I think it was in a... Yeah, it was in the event exclusive move. Yeah, because I remember it used, to, it used to have it. So that's that's kind of a bummer, I guess, but it doesn't really matter. So like, yeah, I mean, pretty much uh, for Heatran, we're going to be running policy on it for sure. Like, we're probably going to be bulldozing ourselves. Yeah. Like, that's a pretty straightforward choice. To bulldoze the item. I, yeah, bulldoze the item. I do that so much. I'll be like, yeah, let me go ahead and equip safety goggles. Really <laughs> yeah. So, no, I, yeah. I mean, we could, we could make this guy, like, hit sort of a sweet spot. Because I know it's possible to do this. You can make it so, I think, at plus two, if we run 107 or something, we, you know, let's say we're next to a Lando or next to an Aleki. Um... Like, you know, we so want to speed something after an airstream. Yeah, but we can also underspeed Metagross is the main thing. Uh, OK, OK, gotcha, gotcha. Because gotcha. at minus so, one, we want to underspeed Metagross. I, I almost feel like, though, in most cases, isn't it beneficial to outspeed Metagross? Because if you're in Trick Room and you're bulldozing, the Metagross won't get dropped. Yes, but you will is the thing. So if we're in Trick Room. No, I'm saying, but they won't get dropped. Like, yeah, they, yeah, they won't get dropped, so. Yeah. We, we, we want to make sure like we're fast enough where if we're, you know, air streaming or electrowebbing, we still outspeed things, but we want to make sure that um, at minus one, we underspeed the, the Metagross. Oh, 100%. I yeah. think I think you can do that. Um, like you, you can still invest a bit in Heatran to like make it a little faster without doing that. Like, <laughs> Wait, Joe, I'm going to disappoint you here. Uh -oh. You're going to be really disappointed in me here. Not not recording wise. We already messed up enough, but <laughs> I, actually, I actually have the number handy. <laughs> oh, no, dude. <laughs> this garbage set. It's 134. We can go up to 134. Uh, it's like the number, but you still under speed Metagross. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's the number. So that's the yeah, highest number. I don't think is going to go that fast. Which is good. Yeah, so <laughs> we can just do like 107. Yeah, I think um, for Heatran wise, you probably would want it to be. Um, so like, I, I like I don't know um, how you like to do your EVing. Basically, it's like for me, I just kind of focus it on benchmarks. So like. In this case, uh, I usually do the evening after the moves just so that we kind of like know where yeah. like everything's at, right? Because like sometimes your moves can determine like what you have. So like flash cannon, earth power, protect, right? So like yeah. we have the option to max break. This also gives us a colossal matchup besides Landorus uh, mm -hmm. too, which is really nice because then you get the option to max break. Amoongus, what? Well, I think we should do pollen puff on Amoongus. That wouldn't be a bad choice. Yeah, pollen puff, it helps us with longevity on our maxes and just yeah. overall. And then Rage Powder Spore, straightforward, right? And then you yeah. run Protect. You get the option of Redirection Sleep. It's just, like, really good. Mm -hmm. For the... Just max that out for, for the, now. Yeah, fix it fine. later. I mean, yeah, we can always we can always go back and fix EVs. So, and I'll, I can even show you a little bit about, like, how I usually like to do the EVs. Because usually it's, like, something that's, like, a little more, like, in-depth. But, um, for the uh, Blastoise. So, for the Blastoise itself, I think if we're going to go offensive on it, then we probably want to... Either make it like super um, setup oriented with like shell smash, mm -hmm. or make it where it's going to be kind of just an offensive like damage dealer. So like for example, running like three attacks on it maybe. But I think that in this case, shell smash is actually a little bit nicer. Yeah, Cause, like, mainly because of Mungus and also eighty five special attack. We're not, we're we're not. Yeah, if you're not we're, running life orb, you're not dealing damage. Yeah, so. like like Venusaur's damage can be underwhelming without a life orb, and that thing's got like base hundred. So Blastoise is going to be even worse. Yeah, I think here even running the white herb then. So like um, after or not is it what? Yeah, it's white herb. Yeah. Um, so after the drop, like we kind of get our stats back up, and then running shell smash. I think water spout. Um, it, it's a little bit tough because if you run two water moves and an ice move, then you usually don't want protect. But like protects like really nice. Yeah. You have the option of max guard, but I'm I guess actually, primarily I I kind of tempted to. Hold on, let me take a look at Picolytics. I want to make sure I'm not being dumb here 
No, we don't. We don't need dark poles. We're not KOing dust cops now. <laughs> we're we're yeah, base eighty five. Yeah. yeah, like max darkness isn't KOing. That's not worth it. Yeah, we got a. The good thing, because uh, I was gonna be worried about Spectre initially, but the good thing here is that we actually have like a Ranger which can sit in front of it without dying. <laughs> oh yeah, no, <laughs> that thing just hard walls it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's yeah. nice. But, so um, maybe just yeah. ice beam. Oh, yeah, I think ice beam is pretty good. Um. And then yeah, protect. I think that's like fine. Yeah. You could consider putting muddy water over water spout just because you like in case like you're chipped down. You know, you don't want to just be useless. Yeah. I mean, what's the um, damage difference? I think muddy water turns one thirty and water spout stays one fifty. Yeah, it's okay. I think it's okay because with muddy water, because also you get a consistent move that can hit outside of max because you're not yeah. always gonna want to max the last voice. Yeah. You know? Especially so. with like Rillaboom running around, we're like almost never gonna be at full HP. Yeah. Sometimes people run something like Hydro Pump for a little bit more power, um, or like Hydro Cannon, because yeah. then obviously you get like a really strong move, but I think Hydro Cannon's a little excess. So. Yeah, like I can see it on like, I can see that like the, those like, like recharge work. moves being useful on like Charizard and stuff, just because you're already like Okoing mm -hmm. so much, it helps you Oko just that little more. But I feel like with Blastoise, it makes like literally no difference. Yeah, the only time it usually makes a difference is when you're running like a super like super offensive um life orb like blastoise i think where it's like really that useful mm -hmm. so yeah and then a rangaroo um i mean for the most part uh, we're obviously running bulldoze trick room i think instruct is still good yeah just um, for those double heat waves yeah instruct is still nice i think for the last move i'd say probably i'd like taunt just to stop reverse trick rooms mm-hmm uh, cause like, that's kind of like a cute, cute option, you know, if you want to stop it. Um, but then we don't guess... really have much to like hit, you know? Cause, yeah. Cause I if mean... we, if we end up in like the Spectre 1v1, like, cause that's a legitimate situation we might find ourselves in with a Rangru. Like everything else goes dead around it. Like, are we... I don't think Bulldoze is going to be able to like win versus Snarl or if they're running it. Yeah, I feel like um, there's like two things you can do to like deal with that then is like, which is just make your Ranguru like so annoying that it's like unavoidable and they have to remove it. Yeah. Or just put an attacking move on it. Um, I I'm actually kind of wondering if Instruct is necessary because even though like it it's like the biggest move that a Ranguru likes to use, I don't think we're actually going to use it that often. Like, I mean, with Heatran next to it, I could definitely see it. But like, think about it because you want to bulldoze activate. The first turn, right? So you're definitely yeah. not gonna be instructing there, and then you potentially want to Dynamax while you're bulldozing it. Mm -hmm. So you're not gonna be because you can't instruct the Dynamax move anyways. Yeah. And if you run something like Yawn, what you can do is is you can punish like more passive leads if you can't lead like Amoongus into the matchup, or like you know how we mentioned we wall Spectre. Like if we lead it in the Spectre and we want to Yawn in turn one, that forces stuff to swap. That's and true. Unless it's rack up cannon aid damage as well. That's true. I mean, there's one thing that I'm noticing. Um, if we end up facing a Torkoal, Torkoal tend to carry like Earth Power. We're actually kind of Torkoal weak in that situation. I almost, and this is awful, I like never do this. I feel like we might want to run like Ally Switch. Yeah, Ally Switch could be nice. The thing, the thing that you want to like keep in mind, I think here, because like um, we mentioned that we're Torkoal weak. The issue with Torkoal is, is typically when they run Earth Power, what that means is, is like you're forcing them into a situation where they either have to earth power or they have to fire move. And if you have them in a position where like your heat train and something else is out, it's like really unfavorable for them because then they have to like choose to get like slept or like hit by whatever other mon we have That's or true. hit our heat train. Right. That's true. I'm kind so of, a, think, I'm kind of a fan of yawn then. Yeah. I think, I think yawn is like really, I don't think we need instruct. I really don't think we need it. Honestly, yeah. I like protect might even be nicer because there are certain situations where, like, they'll think the Orangaroo is a free target, and then you can just protect. Yeah, and Mental Herb, probably, just because it's yeah, impossible to stop sure. our trigger yeah. room. Uh, yeah. Inner Focus, yeah. In, in inner Focus, for sure, because then they can pick us out. So. Yeah, so, like, yeah, almost then, free trick room, almost. Yeah, and then our Landorus. Um, so, on the Screech, like, Aleki stuff, usually um, with Landorus, you just run your standard, like, Fly, um, Fly, Earthquake, um, Swords Dance, and then Rock Slide. So like obviously that lets you, you know, do a bunch of damage like with your moves. You have like some of the strongest like coverage moves that Landers has, and then you get the opportunity to boost your attack, especially with Amoongus, That's like really nice. I yeah, think. like the Swords Dance is essentially free at that point. Yeah, and then Reggie Lucky, you don't run Volt Switch with Screech because you want Electro Web for sure, and then you just want a consistent move in like Thunderbolt usually. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, Electro Web, and then like Thunderbolt, Screech, you know. Thunderbolt. Screech, 
Probably like I feel like protect isn't terrible. Yeah, protect. Yeah, you always yeah. go protect. Um, because you don't want to get faked out in a lot of cases because you don't want max your lucky. Oh, don't forget to change the electro web. You made the oh, electro yeah. ball. My bad. Yeah. That's all good. Um, but yeah, like, and then we can go through like the individual EVs. So like, typically, like, it depends on what the benchmarks we want are. But on the Heatran specifically, I think like what you can do with the Heatran is make it just fast enough where it's outspeeding um, most common like Metagross and like max speed modest Celesteela. So max speed modest Celesteela hits 113 speed. So if we go 114 speed, we're gonna be outspeeding that. Also after a max airstream from potentially our Landorus, we're gonna be outspeeding uh, opposing Charizards and like all base 100s. Yeah. And you also outspeed um, Nihiligo, so you can earth power it first and you can outspeed Garchomp as well. So nice. that's really nice. I feel like um, with the Lando, Lando, I, I'm adamant that if you're using Lando, 143 is just a really good benchmark for speed, just because yeah, you're gonna be you airstreaming so much. Yeah, you can actually do that so with much. Adamant. Um, the yeah. reason why you want to do that with Adamant is because paired with Screech, you're basically trying to like be as aggressive as possible and pick up as many KOs as possible. Yeah. And Adamant and Landorus allows you to do that. With Adamant and Landorus, you actually want a little bit of bulk in it. So, when you're optimizing Life Orb, if you end your HP number in like nine, um, mm -hmm. you're optimizing the Life Orb tick that it does, right? So if you end it in one six nine, basically. Um, you're going to be taking 16 HP of Life Orb Chip, right? Uh, which is actually going to be less of the total percentage because you haven't crossed the threshold to increase your Life Orb Chip. Yeah, so like, I actually watched your video on that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, that was a while um, ago, though. Yeah, yeah. So if we if we split, uh, like bring the attack down a little bit more, mm -hmm. um, and we just go, what's it called? Uh, four in defense. And we go, what's it called? Um, like... Because how many EVs do we have to work with still? 216. Um, yeah, we have we have a good bet. I think if we go 20 or... Uh, my, my bad. Um, 12 EVs in uh, Special Defense is good. Because after a Max Quake, if you have an even number, it's going to optimize the Max Quake, like, boost. Because mm -hmm. if you have, like, an uneven number, it, like... You basically lose two stat points after a Max Quake boost. Yeah, because it rounds down. Yeah. So... And then, yeah. And then the rest just goes into attack, which is, like, fine. Nice. Um, for the Amoongus... I think uh, the only thing we really need, like we can max out its HP. Um, we probably want to lower the special defense a little bit, um, just so we have a little bit of defense in there, because it kind of skews some rolls, because some yeah. of them will just talk for like no bulk. If you bring it down to 156, I believe it is. Uh, yeah, 156, and then you just put the rest in defense, it should be fine. I think we want Sassy Moongus, just so we can like tie Speed Tower Glacier though and trick Yeah, around. my bad, I thought it was Sassy. There you go. Oh, no, 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 it's all good. Um, and yeah, we, I think we min IV it. Like, I like this, what I like about this core too, is um, how it has basically both speed tiers covered because you can be really fast and offensive with like the Reggie Lucky Landorus stuff, right? Mm -hmm. On like the like you know faster speed tier, and then like on the slower speed tier, you have like a Ranguru Heatran, like Amoongus, and like even Blastoise maybe, right? Yeah. So like that's nice. I feel like um, defensively on Heatran, we probably want to go. I think more physically defensive. I don't think we're ever gonna live a Wicked Blow. Ever. For, oh, for you're saying for Oranguru? Yeah, Oranguru, I mean, yeah. I don't yeah, think we ever live Wicked Blow, but... Um, damage calculator. I mean, we, we can check. I, I'm not sure because I, I'm not too familiar with Oranguru's bulk, but if we put in Oranguru... And, and then we put in Urshifu, right? Yeah, Urshifu, Picolytic Set, Jolly. Um, okay, I'm going to cool. calc for then, Sash. I'm not, I'm not going to count for Ban. We're never living that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no way we're going to live Ban. I would uh, try, like... Yeah, bring the HP to 191 HP. That's going to optimize like our sand and hail chip on the HP. And then try going um, bold on it. I'll pull that up on the side as well to make sure I'm getting these numbers right. All right. Okay. And then let's say we go bold on it. And then we go 236 defense. Okay, wow. so it's like it's close. like making it a 50-50 roll. I mean, I guess it's arguably better than nothing. Let me go see... If we can, okay, just try maxing the um, HP with that. I think that might do it. One hundred four. Try upping it again. If we go max max, it just ends up one hundred four. It doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't change yeah. anything. So then I would I would just go like uh, save those remaining EVs. Then so if we're at two thirty six. Yeah. Actually, can you try lowering low? the HP a little bit to see if the roll changes? Yeah. Because it if rolls. it's if it's still thirty one percent, you just want to lower the numbers as much as possible so you can invest them somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, we can go down to two thirty six. 
236, 236. Okay. And then I prefer the rest in special defense. Yeah. And then, like, min speed the um, Oranguru. Yeah. So. So, relax nature, I guess. Yeah. 236, 236. Four special defense, min speed. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, speed wise on the Blastoise. Yeah, we could, I think um, we could just. Because I'm guessing, like, in the for the most part, obviously, we're just thinking of Shell Smash, right? Yeah. Um, which means, like, we hit the minimum speed that we need to be at. I, I would almost consider making it um, 115. Um, the reasoning why is because, like, after an airstream, you're beating, like, other people who are trying to creep. So, for example, your Heatran, so you're not tying with your Heatran, which I yeah, guess is the main thing. Yeah, because we're 114. Also, too, after a um, Shell Smash, you're going to be moving pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. I wish we could outspeed Reggie Lucky after Shell Smash, but I just don't think it's that feasible. Because you yeah. need to go modest, so. I think... Let me think. No, it doesn't matter. I was gonna say like, is there like there's no way we actually get like KO'd by an Electro while well maxed, so it doesn't matter. Like if we have yeah. like an Amoongus next to it, it's always safe. Maybe if we go 112 um, on the Blastoise, it's actually okay if we underspeed our own Heatran because we're gonna be getting Shell Smashers up, and that number is still going to be creeping like Charizard. Ente, all those at like plus one. Like, let's say we get Electro Web after a Shell Smash, or like we yeah. only have an Airstream up next to it, so we'll still be outspeeding those bonds. Yeah, for sure. And like, we're not really worried about Garchomp too much. Like, Garchomp's not doing anything to Blastoise, yeah. so it's not too big of a deal. I always, uh, it always like pisses me off. Blastoise is deceptively frail, just stat wise. Like, 79 yeah. 100 sounds good on paper, and then you actually see how it takes a hit, and you go, yeah, it's not that good. <laughs> yeah. Um, we probably just want to go max in the offense, right? Like, for yeah. the most part. I, I mean, mean, like, with 85 if, special yeah. attack, we just want to make sure we're, you know, pumping that up as much as we can. Um, yeah, if you lower the, um, offense EVs, like, by two, try lowering it by, like, two stat points. Then move the HP up to 175 HP. That's optimizing our sand and hail chip. Yeah, and lower it, like, maybe one more. Lower, uh, special, uh, attack one more. Yeah. And just split it four and four, so we just get some extra EVs out of it. Yeah. Actually, I want to see, is it possible to get a Blastoise at minus one to live a, a Grassy Glide in case it comes down to having to click an, an Ice Beam against a Rillaboom? Are you saying in Dynamax, or are you saying outside of Dynamax? Not, non dynamax if it ends up to, like, being a Rillaboom. If it ends up, like, Rillaboom versus Blastoise, I think it'd be nice if we could at least get a free Ice Beam off. Yeah, I mean, you could check. I'm pretty sure we would get KO'd if we're minus... Like, if you're saying... Oh, you're saying is it minus one Rillaboom? Yeah, minus... Since we have that um, Lando on the... Right. Yeah. You're right, okay. Yeah, we, we should be able to take it. Um, Blastoise is, like, bulky enough, I think, but you can check as yeah. well. I just like, want to double check. With um, Miracle Seed. Yeah. The Miracle Seed is what's making me kind of doubt it. Yeah, and now you just lower its attack by... 52 minus, minus one. one. Blastoise, what's our bulk right now? So 164, four. Yeah, so we should take that, like, really comfortably. Oh, yeah. We only take 90 max. Okay, yeah. Yeah. I like that spread. Yeah. I think, and... like, this this is pretty solid for the team we have. Uh, the Reggie Lucky, obviously, 252, 252 just makes sense. Like, yeah. and Torrent gonna, on the Blastoise because... You're not going to because... that for bulk, so... Yeah. Torrent on the Blastoise because we're not really getting rain up ever. Yeah. All and right. Focus, Blast Fire. Yep, all the abilities make a lot of sense here, I think. This looks a lot better oh, than I thought our it would. Did we finish our Heatran? No, no, we didn't. Okay, good. Um, yeah, Heatran. I would probably be going. Let's 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 up the um, special attack to the uh, what's it called to one seventy six. What's that hitting? Uh, that's just that's just a what's it called one of the bumps. Uh, like stat bumps. It's just mm -hmm. a general like number, just to get an idea of how many EVs we're working with. Okay, maybe bump it up by eighty more EVs. So to one fifty six. So basically, like, obviously, like, on a nature boost, it's at there, like, certain jump points, you mm -hmm. know, where it goes up by two stats instead yeah. of one. Um, and, like, we're just hitting one of those. It's, like, a general number, just yeah. just that, like, we're not, you know, too far off. If you could hit, make the HP hit 191, I'm pretty sure we're, that's, we're still in range to hit that. Yeah, 191. And then we could probably go... We could probably split 12-12 between the defenses, because that's going to leave even numbers, which is going to be good for our max quake and our steel spike boost. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Okay. I like the way you EV. I've always been more of a just sitting in the damage calculator checking checking stuff EVs. Yeah, the way I look at EVing is like obviously when you're just like taking a team that you build, like we, like we wouldn't want to sit here for like two hours and like super run damage calculations all the time. Yeah. So like we're like speed um, running a build. 
Yeah, it's like it's like almost speed running, but it's like uh, general like base points that you hit or like general like things that you do that like let you achieve certain goals or like optimize certain things without necessarily have to go in the calculator. And like you can immediately go and test the team to make sure it's good. Right? Yeah, this is so. by far the more educational BOFA video, more educational of a BOFA video than I expected. Yeah, right. It's like right? the BOFA video we're, is we're like teaching, super education. <laughs> we're, we're teaching people about EVing in a BOFA video. I know, dude. It's a, no, it's like the um, you're feeding your kid like the vegetables, but you're hiding it in like the mac and cheese or something. Yeah, you know that's, I mean? that's pretty much what it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, I mean, I'm ready to hit the ladder with this. We're gonna oh, be I'm on ready, low no, ladder, ready, but I, I like this. I think yeah. it looks dope. We're gonna be fighting low ladder, but it's it's whatever, you know. You're logged yeah, into the I... account. All right, Bofa. Yeah, I'm logged in, so I can also see it. Sweet. But yeah, dude, no, like, am I, that's the thing, I think, with, like, EVing as well, is, like, sometimes people can be, like, very, like, scared of it, you know, because it's, like, it, it, there's a lot involved in it, but, like, mm -hmm. if you get it to a level where it's, like, simplified, or, like, simplified enough, or break it down in pieces, it's a lot simpler. Yeah. Uh, yeah. here, you know, I almost want to say, dang, if there wasn't a Swampert, I would say, like, Heatran Trick Room doesn't seem very bad. Yeah, I think Lander Selecki here is like phenomenal, no? Because you have the option of Screech immediately. Oh, that's true. And then, I'm not used to Screech. Yeah, and then yet. you can like late game with your Heatran here um, to deal with the Selly. Like, mm -hmm. because Selly usually has nothing to break through Heatran, anyways. Yeah, and Amoongus just generally is nice. I don't think Blastoise Yeah, I think does Amoongus and Lando being able to pivot in and out could be really nice because yeah. then you have the option of going for Spores, obviously, like late game, you know? Yeah. And Pollen Puff 2 is like really nice, like heal up our mons, so. And Sin Lando. I mean, yeah. do we just protect here? Like, obviously uh, we're gonna get faked out, but yeah, I think I think like a sword dance from Landers is like kind of straightforward, um, yeah. or like more likely what's gonna happen here. Mm -hmm. I would even consider swords dancing yourself on your own Landers, um, because it kind of forces them to like fake you out, and if they don't, and they try and like be greedy and like fake out the Aleki, you punish them for it. Yeah. And you also can screech into the lander, so its defense is already lowered. So next turn, even if you max it like minus one, you screech them again, they're dead. Yeah, that's you know? what I was thinking. So swords dance protect here. Just I would make sure. oh I would screech. I think I would screech the lander you just sure? in case because yeah, because it's if even if it airstreams you, it's fine because then it's locked in a single target move yeah. and you can support it. You're right. So you got to play yeah. kind of aggressive versus this right now. So yeah. Okay, that's... Yeah, he, and he protected, so... I mean, oh, was... yeah, and he picked out a Lucky, so... Dude, I don't understand that play. Why fake out if you're just going to protect your Lando? I mean, he must know that there's a Screech coming. Yeah, I would just I would just Screech Airstream. I don't think there's anything they can really do about that, honestly. Like, yeah. Actually, because even if they even if they parting shot you and bring in Intimidate again, you Screech them and they're basically at neutral defenses compared to you. Yeah, just Airstream Screech. I hate that Screech's 85 accuracy. I hate that. You just so this is the trick. You just never acknowledge that it can miss, and it will never miss. Yeah. Ooh, good U turn. Right, okay, he swaps. It's fine. Sully. Knowing his life orb is like really nice as well, because yeah. then it puts us in a position where like obviously we know what's going on. Oh, you went finny. Oh, that's, that's gonna fine. do so much damage though. Yeah, I thought so I thought it was gonna be Sully coming in for a turn. <laughs> Dang, dude. <laughs> you know, your life orb adamant landers is actually ridiculous. Like, that's come on, so crack. dumb. What? Yeah. I'm so used to like AV. AV adamant if I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's that's why um th that's why the screech like life orb lander stuff is like ridiculous. All right, so I mean we don't really need to worry about Sully right now. I think maybe we just screech Lando again. Yeah, I think screeching Landers and just airstreaming it's like really free. Yeah. Um, because I'm, Sully's like it loses to late game Heatran, right? Actually, so. hold up. I don't want to make too aggressive of a read, but he did outspeed us before. For he's gonna, yeah, I know. I was thinking maybe he might acknowledge that and protect. like, yeah, and protect. Uh, yeah, no, we just I, airstream. Yeah, I, I think I think you just do it to cover, anyways. You know what I mean? Like just to yeah. be safe. Um, no, you didn't protect, but we do miss. Oh, I mean, there you go. We miss screech. <laughs> I mean, that still does uh, way too much. What, that's half. Yeah, that's at half attack. Lando, yeah, you. It's not the worst. I mean, I yeah, mean, here... now we just get in Heatran because we outspeed the Lando. Hmm. I would, um, I would have even considered a Moongus there to spore because we would have guaranteed gotten a spore off on the Selly. But like bringing Heatran to get the Airstream boost isn't that bad either. Like, yeah. just Airstream protect. I would. Oh yeah, I, yeah. I guess you don't yeah. need to protect. Like, there's, there's no need to protect since we're outspeeding their Lando. And if they, 
If they go Incineroar, they're, like, gain nothing from that except for, like, damage on their Incin, to be honest. Yeah, and you could just, like, Heat Wave to get some chip on the Sully. Yeah. I haven't seen Quake Celesteela in, like, five years, so. <laughs> you don't want to say that low ladder, man. That's how you, like, jinx it. What? <laughs> A jackpot? He's going to lose his Lando anyways. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we Heat Wave, then. Yeah, congratulations, Lando. Here's your prize. <laughs> I was kind of waiting to see the weakness policy into the max quake from the celly, honestly. Like, I was just kind of, like, excited, nah. you know, like, sitting here like, ooh, is it going to come out? All right, there's yeah, this I mean, I mean... I think here you just hard swap into Moongus, actually, so you can preserve your um, Landorus. Because, like, yeah. it's already so intimidated, it's not going to be doing anything. Yeah, and then you, you can just protect. go for a protect, yeah. Yeah, you just saw the last turn, right? Yeah. It was the last turn Dynamax. I mean, they could be Meteor Beam, which might KO from this range. But I yeah. think with a Moongus on the field, we can at the very least just redirect Heat Wave. Yeah, that's part of why I think you want a Moongus in here. The only way it's like a little bit harder is if like it's Snarl Ensign. So. Mm -hmm. It's the Airstream. All right. Seems like he has nothing. I think if he had something, he would have rock fall. Yeah. But I mean, we're Koba Berry too. So even if he like air slashes, we're living that. So I would. Yeah, I would actually consider just swapping in Landorus here, um, primarily because he's probably going to Flare Blitz into the Amoongus to prevent a Spore. True. And then maybe going for a Earth Power just to clean up the Incin, and then isolating the Celesteela down to where you can, like, go for a Spore and then just, like, pollen and Puff your Heatran. Yeah, makes sense. Do both like the legitimate core, dude? Did this guy... All right, I guess maybe he just called a Koba Berry right there. Yeah, he probably did. I mean, I would, yeah, I would go back to the Moongus yeah. just so he doesn't get Beast Boost. Just, just Heat Wave. I, I mean, if he has Flamethrower or Airstream, what's the likelihood of a Meteor Beam? Usually you see, like, because he's got to have Flash all Cannon. Of them. They usually run all of them. I, I'm used to seeing Protect. Vest. Oh, yeah, if he's Assault Vest, then he doesn't yeah. have Meteor Beam. Or at least he doesn't have, like, Power of Meteor Beam. Oh, like, it could just be Assault Vest, Cartana, and then he could just be running a weird Sully. Yeah. Yeah, the Regi like as you can see, like the <laughs> the Regieleki and like Lando shit is like actually stupid. Like it does so mm -hmm. much damage. Actually, wouldn't it make more sense since we're always living a hit from the Celesteela? Shouldn't we just protect the Heatran in case they are running some dumb power of stuff? Yeah, so then you can swap into Moongus and protect yeah. Heatran. Just play it safe there. Yeah. Giga Dr Okay, yeah, oh, okay, that well, is that is AV. Move. Dude, I don't yeah, even just, I don't even want to redirect. I don't even want to redirect. It's not worth it. <laughs> Dude, why Giga Drain of all moves to click there? I think he was just conceding. Yeah, it was, it was just over at that point. I hope we get to use the sign. Orangur or Heatran at some point. <laughs> yeah, like Orangur is like the only questionable member of this team, to be honest. Yeah. What is this? This is Tailwind PZ shenanigans. Herm's actually really good here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, ooh. How much do we care about the fact that he can put our Ranguru to sleep turn one? Uh, it's like kind of threatening, yeah, I guess. But then you would trade Spore with him now. That's true. Yeah. We can the only situation where that'd be bad is if he leads like Amoongus and PZ and then he threatens a KO on your Amoongus turn one because then that's like obviously mm -hmm. problematic. I think uh, like in Blastoise versus... Yeah, I was going to say, how do you feel about Blastoise here? Because, like, yeah. once once Heatran gets rid of, like, a Moongus, if it does, you know, uh, then Blastoise is kind of... I mean, under Trick Room at the very least, like, Blastoise feels good. Like, a Leki normally would make me not want to bring Blastoise at all, but if we're going TR, I feel okay with it. Yeah. Because, like, mid-speed enough. I was considering, uh, like, maybe saying, like, we should bring Landers, but the thing is with that is that um, in Trick Room, it's kind of a little bit out of its element. I mean, most of the Mons are fast on the opposing team anyways, but it's more so, like, thinking, like... If we're going to be maxing the Heatran, we don't really want the other Mon. Yeah, so. and I mean... Yeah, yeah Trick Room here I, is free. You just Rage Powder Trick Room always, I think. I mean... Yeah, you yeah, because he can, cause he he can, can Hyper Beam you. us. He could, like, Hyper Beam yeah. us or something. Because mm -hmm. I was going to say, I almost want to get in Heatran for the Amoongus for free, but it's, like, that's not safe. Yeah, I don't think it's worth it. I would just like, go for the Rage Powder Trick. Yeah. Ooh... That's the one. That's the one thing, and that's where I think maybe we wanted to protect because we were playing a little aggressive. But this yeah. is where Blastoise just kind of comes. Yeah, because we outspeed at plus one pretty much. Yeah, now you just rage powder and like shell smash. Yeah, <laughs> we just kind of <laughs> run through the easy. That's why yeah. I felt like kind of safe about like just going for that anyways, because it was like if not, we get the shell smash off. Mm -hmm. So it's a strike. Yeah, strike doesn't matter. We're still fast. 
to get a parting. The only reason it's bad is if he um, gets in the elect. That's AV if he's running U turn. He's got to be AV, right? On the Ensign? Yeah, probably. Yeah. If they were using U turn there, usually are. I really hope he doesn't have a lucky. Ooh, okay, he doesn't have a lucky. Yeah, okay, so we're cool. chilling. I would so, just go for the the cannonade into the PC, just nuke it. Yeah. And, and we can't you, protect yeah, anyway, so. Here. I mean, you don't have a choice. Yeah. <laughs> Heatran just getting rid of your, or not Heatran, but like Urshu getting rid oh of your option to protect really sucks. Yo. We kind of forgot. We kind of forgot how bad Blastoise really sucks, huh? Yeah, Blastoise kind of. Wow, I can't believe we actually lived that. To be honest, <laughs> dude. I mean, to be fair, the PZ was slower than our Blastoise, which means it's like really bulky PZ. Yeah. Because our Blastoise is like one twelve speed, so that means like if the PZ is slower than that, that means it's full bulk. Yeah. Check this out. So. Taking this PZ. Got him. God, someone needs to let in my dog right now. <laughs> Dude, I think the wind con here, if there's no lucky in the back, is oh no, I, we're actually we're actually yeah, yeah we're, we're slower we're, than we're the Urshifu. Neutral. Yeah, we're neutral. Never like mind. if we were at plus one and it was choice band, we had a chance. Yeah, I thought I thought maybe it was gonna be. All right, CD, yeah. But, yeah uh, we might as well do our best. You know, just click and move. Just, just try. Just, just click and move. There we go. Good game. Good game. Yeah. I think turn one we would have actually been fine had we gone for a double protect. Yeah, I mean. That's why I kind of like Sasha Mungus because it's so like it's so easy just to get Trick Room off with Sasha Mungus, but mm. the the Sasha like he's kind of necessary here. Yeah, well, I mean the Sasha Mungus I don't think would have made a difference there because it, what happened was is he faked out our Mungus. So like, oh, you're right. So like realistically, if we just double protected and then the Mungus Rage Powder next turn, like we would have just won the game. You're right. Like, I went over. You're right. I literally I literally just forgot what happened in the past five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean. How, do, how would they even lead versus us? I mean, I feel like they're definitely going to lead off win. Dude, I just feel like Lando Alecki again is just going to body them, like, straight up. Yeah, they really don't have much for that, do they? Yeah. Dude, I'm just telling you, like, any team, if you put Lando Screech Alecki on it, it's like... It just becomes so much harder to beat. Bad. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's just, like, fine. It's not a bad yeah. team. Uh, I think I'm going to in the back. Yeah. We can probably just bring Blastoise for the hell of it. Like, we're going to get rid of I most of the Blastoise. things that threaten it. Yeah, I think Blasters is good anyways, because then you have Ice Beam for Chomp yeah. late game as well. So Wim Entei, I mean... It's Eruption, it's Eruption Entei. Oh, you're sure. right, you're right, you're right. Um, I mean, that's still fine. What I would probably do here is I would just protect and um, go for a Airstream into the Entei. Because then next turn, that means the Aleki will go first and you yeah. can electroweb. Because most... Because if they're running, like, Tailwind Wimscat, it's got to be Scarf Entei if they even want to outspeed us anyways. I'm kind of curious if they're gonna eruption. I think they are. Mm. Okay, no, they're actually sacred fire. You get burned, but it doesn't. I don't think that matters too much, to be honest. We, we already saw what minus two adamant landers does, so. Yeah, and you know it's life orbente, so thunderbolt actually finishes it off. Yeah. And then air treatment to win is just gonna speed us up. Yeah. Yeah. The nice thing too is that uh, because of screech, it's actually not even that bad of a situation. Like... No, because we can still just basically get up to neutral, especially at like when we're at plus two speed. Like Wimscott's not KOing us next turn. Like yeah, their mons still out, they, a lot of their mons still outspeed Lando at plus two, especially Garchomp. But, Just reach Airstream Chomp so it doesn't get free um, Sword Dance. I think. Yeah, for sure. Because it's gonna try and Sword Dance on yeah. us for sure. I'm pretty sure. And even if it like just tries to go for a KO here, like we at the very least get a one of these two moves off because he's not KOing both of our mons. Oh my god, dude! <laughs> oh, he went for it. He went for it. Where Goodbye, he went for it, bro. They get so greedy. Ooh, oh my god. Invisible Sash? We're faster like, than him. Yeah, man, that's like yeah, cracked. He, he's going to say, we're, fa <laughs> we're faster than him anyways. Yeah, because we got plus three. I'm telling you, man, this Screech Alecky shit is, like, so funny. Like, it's just, it's so busted. Ooh. Okay, so we're finally facing a coal team, but it's, like, Aqua Jet Blastoise coal. Does Blastoise get Aqua Jet? I don't, I'm not sure, man, to be honest. Check. Like, Blastoise, like a type. It does, it does. Okay. It does. Okay, okay. So, okay. I mean, we could go I mean, like a Moongus. <laughs> we could Lando, right? Like, yeah. Moongus Lando just bodies it. Moongus Lando in the back. Um, Blastoise the Flex, like. And we could bring Heatran, too. Yeah, Heatran Blastoise, I yeah. think, in the back. Like, fine. We got three members of both of this game. That's an achievement. What yeah. are you doing? <laughs> I mean, does it get Surf? I, no, Fly, there's no way Flygon gets Surf. There's no way. I'm gonna. Some weird mons get sir. I don't think it does. But... No, and he doesn't switch in anything on. Qu I'm just gonna quake and spore the flygon. Like there's nothing. Yeah, he that's does what here. I was gonna say. Yeah, I think you can just quake spore flygon. You're chilling. Maybe he's like scarf breaking swipe and he lives this. 
I doubt it, man. Like, you're a life for Adam and Lano. He's gonna die. Flag on you, sir. What? I'm sorry. You don't get a steam engine from that, sir. <laughs> This is why we need. This is why we need mid ladder better. accounts when we're doing this BS. I mean, shit. I'll use my main, bro. I don't care. Nah, like, we have to flex on them with the Bofa. The Bofa, these players. Okay. Well, this is just HO. Yeah. I mean, it seems very what's it called weak to just like Landorus. Besides the Dragapult, right? Yeah. I almost want to just go Trick Room because I don't think they ever lead off with Amoongus versus this. What if you lead um, a Ranguru Heatran um, to pressure an Amoongus lead, but mm. um, you keep Landorus in the back along with it, so that what you can do is is like you can swap in if like they're gonna high jump yeah, your Heatran and intimidate. or, something or like, something like that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, and I mean Amoongus if we're going Trick Room, obviously. yeah, I think your own Amoongus is good here because then you can pollen puff yourself. Yeah, no, they didn't lead off how they needed to, and yeah, no, we can do that because. If they want to stop the Trick Room, they would have to... I think you could Trick Room Steel Spike, man. Like, I don't think there's any uh, thing to stop you from well, Trick Room Steel Spiking here. My main concern is, like, what if they go for a Max Phantasm into Heatran? And then with the defense drop, they go for, like, a Pyro Ball or a High Jump Kick into a Rangru. Do we take that? Uh, you could swap in the Lando to be safe. Like, yeah, swap that's, in Lando for that's what I was thinking. Because I, I want to be safe versus the Cinderace. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we are, we are kind of on low ladder, so... <laughs> and, I mean, worse. Lando still underspeeds both of these Vons. Yeah. yeah, he's gonna Phantasm. Did he just ally switch? Yep. Did he just... Yeah, I think you gave him a little too much credit, homie. <laughs> there we go. Dude, just put... I would just yawn, pull yeah, and like... Yeah, I'm yawning. Uh, oh, imagine if we were Telepathy, man. That would have been so funny. I think you swap into Amoongus, actually, here. Because then you can just yeah. yawn, score, and then, like, get in your Heatran after. Your... Pyro Ball. Oh, Okay. Dang, that did like nothing at minus one. I mean, yeah, now we get a free swap. Oh, also, dude. sign to note, he's not clear body, he's infiltrator. Yeah, I just realized too, I was like, how do we live that? So funny. I would just yawn uh, Cinderace and Rage Powder, because uh, we get a free swap in there, Heatran, right? Yeah. I mean, we could yawn Cinderace and go Lando to get some recovery. I don't think it matters. Just, but... I, I just don't think you need your Landers to take any chip here, because like, we don't need Amoongus for the actually, rest of the game. No, you know no, what I mean? no. Check this out. We're going to make him give us Flash Fire, just to flex. He's going to give us flash fire. He knows it. <laughs> Watch him high jump kick. Hey, there we go. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I was going to be like, dude, if he high jump kicks here, I'm going to be like, that's the funniest shit ever. So here's the issue. <laughs> the spore from Amoongus, Yeah, right? the spore from the Amoongus could actually be kind of an issue. Um, I would just, I would actually just um, yawn. Yawn the Amoongus, go for a protect. No, um, I oh, think, I think you actually try and burn a turn of, um, burn a turn of sleep early on, but... Well, we could have Ooh, also done what? that. Yeah, I could also that too. Yeah. I mean, do we just get out Heatran for Amoongus here? Yeah, yeah. I think you do that, and then you yawn the Urshi if you can get it off. Which obviously you probably won't, but. It's fine. Yeah, I mean, they wasted their max at this point. Really, like, if we just get Amoongus in next to next to Lando, we probably win. I mean, thing to note: their Amoongus was faster or uh, slower in our trick room, or slower in trick room than our min speed Oranguru, which means they have some speed on it. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to, man, I really just want to like, <laughs> yeah, I'll trick room. I'll... I can't protect here versus that thing, but I also can't switch out because I lose. I mean, he's going to, he's going to close combat again, right? He's not going to surging strikes. I, I, I wouldn't risk it. I You're right. Risk it. Cause I there's, there's, there's really no, bad. there's no safe read. Yeah. yeah. Sucker punch drag. Yo, Waterfall. He doesn't have surging strikes, dude. I mean, guy, my guy, he literally went for a Phantasm in the Ranguru. Like, <laughs> I think your expectations for him are a little too high right now. <laughs> I know, but that's what makes him scary, dude. I think, yeah, you just Airstream in the Urshi, and then yeah, you... Yeah, because um, he doesn't... He's not KOing bulldoze. us, yeah. You can just go for a Bulldoze. Yeah, because... Like, Freak Flash <laughs> if he has it. Because the Ranguru is guaranteed to wake up this turn. I believe that's yeah. the turn, yes. Watch him actually have Surging Strikes. No, he just close combat. <laughs> That'd be really funny. He, he just, just has it. two water moves. Yeah. All right, he's not Sash. Bulldoze is going to go off, bro. Ringer is a chat. Damn it. Oh, he's still <laughs> sleeping. <laughs> I mean, we outspeed the the Pult now, and there's no way. Yeah. I, don't, I have no faith he has Koba Barry. Yeah, honestly. he's not. He's, watch him actually be Sash. Like, watch him actually have that much, like, knowledge of the game to run Sash. <laughs> Ally. Uh, oh. It's not the end of the world. Like, what does he have to beat us? 
It's Sucker Punch Dragapult, actually. Yeah, it's, it's pretty threatening. Is Sucker Punch Dragapult threatening? Is I was, it? I was, I was, yeah. Uh, uh. Watch out, man! He's gonna sucker punch us! I'm gonna yawn the dragon. <laughs> Actually, I can yawn the Amoongus, and that makes this endgame a lot easier, doesn't it? Yeah, I'd probably just yawn the, yawn the pult, man. What is the Amoongus doing? Amoongus just sitting there, man. It's just bait. No, you don't know. He's gonna be running foul play. Dude, if my guy clicks foul play, I'll just straight up, like, just never stream again in my life. Alright, so we just sport our Oranguru. I mean, we just... Yeah, no, we just fly the pole. Nah. Actually, no, we don't fly. Earthquake makes the most sense, doesn't it? Because he's going to come back. Uh, I'm trying to I think. I would yawn, yawn the pole and fly on the Amoongus, maybe. Yeah, just get rid of the Amoongus first, because at the That'd very be least... Because the Amoongus, at the very least, can't avoid a fly by Phantom. Dude! We, we've been over this. Bro, we, we already told you. We've been over this. How many this. times did you this lesson, old man? Exactly. Watch this not KO. Watch him be like full, full fizz def with like a right. Koba Berry. Oh, watch him actually have Koba Berry. He's yeah, going to have right. it. He's going to have it. No, he doesn't. You know, this game lasted a lot longer than it had any, than it had any right to last. Uh, I mean... I would Sword Dance, man. Yeah. Like, Sword Dance yawn. Just put him out of his misery, dude. Alright, yeah. I That's mean... Thing, man. Ranger is a casualty of war here. Protect EQ. Yeah, there we go. Did he Dragon Darts? Oh, no, we, uh... oh wait, no, we're, yeah. we're fast. Anyways, yeah. yeah. Alright, that was interesting. I want to get a good Blastoise game. He's the bee in the <laughs> Bofa. He's the mascot of Bofa. Dude, he is, he, like, without him, Bofa couldn't exist. Okay, so, like, standard Moltres stuff. This, um, I'm sorry to tell you, this is probably not a Blastoise game, bro. I know. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> uh, let me think here. I, I actually, just... I don't hate, I don't hate Trick Room. Yeah, but dude, doesn't, like, Lando Aleki kind of smash those? It does kind of smash. Oh, but maybe not... he trained Amoongus. Maybe he trained Amoongus yeah. because you get early spores off and yeah. you can go for, like, steel spikes, potentially. I was going to say, but... like, Lando Lando Aleki smashes, right? But neither of them are in Bofa. Yeah, so maybe, like, he trained Amoongus. So we lead the FA lead, bro, to yeah. at least have some of it, right? And then the Lando Aleki. <laughs> Dude, I love how two mons that aren't part of the Bofa are, like, some of the best parts of the team. Yeah, it's the <laughs> sad like, part. Like, uh, yeah. what's, I mean, we can just, like, get in Lando on, on, like, a, a Max Quake and then go for, like, oh, you a want my th Look, he's gonna bulldoze, bro. Yeah. Just, just straight raw Max Flare into the Metagross, dude. He won't expect it. Are you sure? I don't... I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, dude. You, you gotta think, you gotta think like you're on low ladder, man. I'm yeah, it's, you. no, no. If, if you're thinking like low ladder, if we're, if we're facing a 1,072 player, they hit what's in front of them. Which means they're gonna bulldoze and hailstorm into the Amoongus. Are you sure they're not just gonna try to KO them? I would, just, I would, I would just flare, bro. I'm telling okay. you, just like right. flare and rage powder, like rage powder, just to make sure that you don't get quaked. All right, all right. Watch this bulldoze. Okay, yeah, fair. <laughs> I was concerned about like a sacred fire quake. Like that was my main concern there. I mean, you can't you can't give these guys too much credit, man. You just gotta like blow them up with <laughs> what you got in front of you. Okay, yeah. I mean, like a lucky just comes in now. Ah, uh, yeah. A lucky is just kind of free here. All right, there's the boom. I mean, we deal with the boom first, clearly. Uh, no, I think it's because the real boom's not a threat to you. You actually kill the Entei, you know, because the Entei. Um, oh, like you're right. Entei we're running like... Sash. Yeah, I forgot we're running Sash. You can just quake it. Yeah, quake and then maybe I I would even protect maybe just like or do you think they would be high horsepower? On Rillaboom. They were. They didn't double though. That's good. Yeah. It's funny too because like I, I was like, you know how I told you like think like low ladder. I was like, hmm, why would they bring out Rillaboom in front of a Heatran? Like. <laughs> yeah, because they have high horsepower. <laughs> yeah, I would just max guard and like Thunderbolt into Ente. Yeah. Do you think we're gonna get the KO on that? Probably, right? Yeah, that KOs from this range. We freaking Regieleki. Oh, they doubled. Bro, they're actually chads, man. They're straight up goaded. I would just rock slide here and go yeah. for the flinch on the Rilla and Heatwave. If we get the flinch, we win, which is just like pro gaming at this point, right? Yeah. 
Oh, actually, they just let us out. Speed why? Speed. Why is their Entei so slow? Why is their Entei so slow? I mean, we might not lose. Okay, we lose. <laughs> actually, <laughs> mm, not yet. When there's a rock slide, there's a way, bro. When there's a rock slide, there's a way. Just literally flinch them to death. It's over. They lost. It's done. Okay, yeah, I, I believe you. I believe you. Except that, just, like, if any one of these two moves hits us, we end up just, you know, dying. Oh, I, I almost I flew. I almost flew into the Rillaboom. You have no idea. I don't know, man. It would kill you at Muddy Water. You have to rock slide, flinch, and death. That's the only way to win in low ladder, man. Oh, it looks like you killed some Muddy Water. Hey, we got the one flinch, though. Okay, so good news is that if we flew, we would have lost anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, when, <laughs> when is Blastoise going to be good, bro? Uh, not this game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we just go. He can't taunt the Oranguru, so we just go Amoongus Oranguru Heatran, right? Shit, bro. I'm more worried about the fucking. Uh, what's it called? The coal? The. Yeah, I mean, the Regigigas, too, dude. Like, you gotta be careful. Well, no, Regigigas. Regigigas, Regigigas, he can't taunt our Oranguru, so we just let him have the Amoongus, and then we can get dude, in. Doesn't Lendo Lucky just beat both of these? No, not at the. Not a yeah, because you max guard turn one. You max guard turn one electro web. They're screwed. Then you kill the wheezing and you electro web again. It works every time because they're That's really true. dumb. That's true. But are you sure? I feel like the trick room's safer just overall, especially if they go with the gigas. I don't trust it because usually they like game with Cole. Uh, like, like, and also too, if we go trick room, that means we're bringing Blastoise, which is weak to the Rilla. Uh, I really yeah. think like Lando, Lando just like beats both modes. Like, really right, comfortably. Yeah. So Lando, Aleki, Amoongus, and uh, Keytran. Yeah, yeah, I think I think Heatran's like very valid here. Okay. Well, at least we know that the Lando, Regieleki, and Mungus Heatran part of the team is really good, right? Yeah, at least we know that much. I mean, the Heatran counts, you know. Uh, yeah. We've seen <laughs> we've seen a Ranguru do one thing. <laughs> yawn. Dude, you know, spam I was saying, yawn. you know what I was thinking of? So uh, when we were looking at our Omans and there was Obstagoon, I was thinking about Fake Tears Obstagoon. Does it get Blast Fake Tears? Or... I was thinking just like yeah, snarling. It gets fake tears. Like I said, they're really dumb. They're going to probably target into the, uh, what's it called? To the Lando? Yeah, you're right. Yep. yep. And then you just electro of Airstream Weezing. They lose. Uh, you cover. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Weezing. 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 Yeah. yeah. Weezing. The thing that matters. Oh, what if they're Sash? I've seen Sash. No, that's, that's why you electro web. That's why you electro Oh, you're right. I mean, yeah, you just electro web. Because you keep yeah. them slower. I meant Landers is not. I was thinking. I was thinking you were saying click screech for a minute. And I was like, oh, wait, no, 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 no. I was no, like, no, I was like, why would we do that? Yeah. Okay. Yo, rip Regigigas, honestly, bro. And right, we take that. Uh. Yeah. He's probably gonna bring in Rilla if he has it though. Yeah. But he's salty. Oh, it's just Urshi. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's yeah, not Yeah, I mean, bad. I think it's just Airstream Ursh and like. Yeah. Airstream Electro, or I don't want to risk missing an Electro. Oh, what, no, 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 dude. Actually, why wouldn't you just want to uh, kill the uh, Regigigas here? Like, just go for a Screech and a... Oh, no, but Regigigas isn't threatening. Yeah, no, Regigigas. Like, he's not going to protect this thing. He's going to be like, okay, I'm Sash. I get one free hit on the Lando. Because he has no incentive to protect here, because if he protects, he loses the Sash anyways. Yeah, I would probably just, yeah, Airstream Web. Do I want a Web or Thunderbolt? Because I don't want to... No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I miss. Okay, well, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, why? Wow, did he actually just KO our Amoongus? Or not Amoongus, no. or Lucky. Or Lucky. <laughs> or Lucky yeah. I just I mean, get into Moon, man. You can score yeah. whatever. And if it's uh, Rillaboom, you actually end game it with Pollen Puff. <laughs> yeah. So it's like. Why, it's why is Pollen Puff such a good move? Dude, it's like actually a busted it move. Does, it does. It does. Sludge Bomb. Yeah, it literally does everything you need it to do. So, yeah. I mean, we don't need Lando. Yeah, I think you swap in yeah. Heatran though, just uh, just because like he's always gonna grassy glide Lando, right? And like, there's nothing that he can do into Lando that's gonna yeah, kill sure. Heatran, you know? Yeah, and like, I mean, it lets you preserve Intimidate, so you can Intimidate cycle one more turn, and then you just spore the Regigigas. Like, yeah, I don't think you lose anything, you know? Yeah. Fake out. Yeah, there you go. Right. I like how we're faster than this Regigigas now because of slow start. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I think you just cycle in Intimidate one more time. Yeah, just, just to make sure we take the horsepower. I I would even palm puff yourself, dude. Palm puff yourself. Oh, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I kind of want to palm puff the Rillaboom, because I don't think we take a Grassy Glide anyways. Well, I don't think he was going to oh, Grassy Glide. Oh, he knocked off. That. Yeah, I don't I mean, think he was going to get You're right. Glide. I keep playing like they're going to make reads. Yeah. I mean, now we definitely live. Yeah. Yeah, he's a for this. Yeah, all right. One more. I want to see the Blastoise or the Oranguru do something worthwhile. 
<laughs> if they don't do it, hey guys, uh, back here with another video. Today we're going to be showing you guys why literally four four moms and team are busted, and another two are useless. Yeah. <laughs> What is, I mean, at the very least, we can make the argument that it patches up some kind of matchup, but no, these four just cover most. Dude, like, I'm telling you, Landers Reggie is the stupidest, like, combination I've ever seen. Yeah. It's really funny. All right. Um, I kind of want to just lead a Lecky here, like, most of the time. I, I think, think a Lecky Blastoise is yeah. actually decent here. Lecky Blastoise. Um... He's got um, a, he's I think a, you need Heatran in the back for Sully. Yeah. I mean, I mean Lando, Lando isn't terrible, yeah. I was going to yeah, say, Amoongus, Amoongus feels like trash in this game, for once. Yeah, I think a yeah, I know. I think Lando for opposing Lando is really nice as well. Yeah. I like how... And also for the Heat. Yeah. I like how prior to Dynamax, Lando, to an extent, could wall a Lando, and now it just can't. Yeah. Because it's like, what are you going to do? You're going to click minus one rock slide? <laughs> Dude, I just like, so what's it called? I just had to mute myself really quickly because Sierra sent me a TikTok that was like, uh, you know, like one of those like really loud TikToks, like out of nowhere, they just like explode with sound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I open it, I like see the like warning sign of it. Like, oh, God. I just like hit my mute button immediately. I was like, well, I was like, can't do that for the video, bro. Nice save. All right. Finny. Oh, yo. Oh, dude, the game's over, man. Finally. Just, dude, just, 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 T-Max cannonade him in Electro Weapon, dude. The game's over. He lost. Finally, he gets to do something. Because what's his switch in? Nothing. He's got no cannonade switch ins. <laughs> you know, unless we miss. Yeah, I mean, yeah, but, you know. You know, Electro Weapon, 95 accuracy, it doesn't miss. It's a myth. Electro Weapon missing is a myth. Yo, nice swap, bro. Nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that mattered. All right. Come on. Come on. Why do I feel like this doesn't KO? Oh, it won't. That's just a week, man. We know yeah. that. <laughs> but it's fine because, I mean, we get the cannonade down, we get the uh, chip, and then on top of that, too, we live the <laughs> max lightning. Yeah. Okay. Like, we just, I think we just follow up. Um, I, I, I actually don't think you kill Rotom here. I think you try and kill Yeah, Lando. I was going to say, like, um, I feel like he guards the Rotom here, understanding that it's just going to go down. I, I don't think you Hellstorm because that's going to that's gonna break your own sash on the electric. You're right, I think you're you just right. cannonade yeah, into the. Cannonade. Uh, and we can probably. No, I'd protect. I think you sure? just protect. All right. Yeah, because then if you get the lander in the right position, then you can just like screech. Yeah. And by preserving your sash, that means you can you're allowed to earthquake yourself at least once. Ooh, EQ. Oh, nice. Goes down. Yo, Blastoise broken, dude. Dude, why does it feel like Cannonade's like after effect even does less than other moves? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> why does it feel like this Rotom hasn't taken like the damage it should have? Blastoise is like the Kmart of like the Walmart yeah. that is like Charizard and then the what's what's another like big store? Uh Big Lots. Big Lots. Or like Sam's Club. Yeah. Is or big Costco. Lots no, thing? Costco. There you go. Costco. Yo, Blastoise finally did something. Yo, Blastoise ran through, dude. Okay. So Joe, out of um So just looking at looking at a little Bofa here. Looking at Bofa, um, out of 10, what do you think? Yeah, I give it like a solid six and a half, just the Bofa part of it. So I think, oh, you're if you're saying pure Bofa, I think the Bofa is like, I give it like a five. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's better it's better than what you're yeah. probably going to play on low ladder. I and think then, like, what really completes the team is the, Lando is the Landers and Alecky, man. That stuff, yeah. in so many of our games, it just like ran through and it was really funny because then it just cleaned up for Heatran and Amoongus in the back. So. Yeah, so like the Bofa here was like, okay, yeah, you got like a D on the test. And then it's like, here are the extra credit questions that got you up to a C. You're good. <laughs> Heck yeah. It's like, it's like, yeah, I did really bad on the first part, but I knew that if I did well in the second part, I'd be okay. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much i mean yeah. uh i mean i think we did the best with what we yeah. had yeah i mean like it's it's kind of hard to find honestly if we had a better o if we had a better o this would have gotten a little bit better i think even, i think so too i like yeah. i don't even think it went poorly either like i think it was fine for what it was like the the problem with the o was was just like you were trapped in the ranguru obstagoon if we could have a better o i think the team would actually be like really yeah fire. clearly like, oddish was so the play yeah, anyone watching, like, if you wanted to make this a good team, just replace the Oranguru with, like, something else, and then you probably have, like, a good team. Like, yeah. like you could you could go, like, Klops or P2, and it would make it so much better. Yeah. 
Like, it's... I don't know. I think the team's cool, though, man. I really liked it. The ringer is whatever, but, like... I do think not going Instruct was definitely a good call, because I don't yeah. think there was any situation where we wanted Instruct. Yeah, and Yawn was really useful. Yeah. Okay, so when someone asked what's Bofa, now we have an answer. Yes. Hold on, let me just make sure we got this. I'm at ladder with this off stream, just to, or what's it called? Uh, like, it's just, like, offline, just to yeah. see how far it goes. I mean, like, if we can get Bofa to, like, at the very least, like, top 200, which I don't think that's even out of the question. Like, this is easy. You can easily get top 200 if you play well with this. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, I mean, the lander is a lucky man. That's all you gotta do. If you just land a lucky, and then you just, you know, the other guys are just like chilling, you know. Uh, we gotta do, we gotta do like another one of these acronyms again. Though it was a lot of fun. Yeah, like, I mean, like we still gotta make like, D's. We still gotta make D's because yeah. we have Bofa, and now, now we make, now we may make D's. Like, what would D be? Like Darmanitan, freaking Diggers B. Do oh wait, just, just bear with me real quick before we end the video. Bear with me. Bear with me. Oh boy. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you're gonna do very well in the Z, bro. <laughs> Actually, Zapdos, bro. Yeah, Zapdos. We're making a sand team. Dude, that's kind of busted. Zapdos, then T Tar. Tyranitar, Tyranitar. Dude, yeah. Oh, what? I can't spell. Or Gig I think Gigalith might even be a bit better. Gigalith is probably better just because we can add like a TR option and it like walls Glacier. Yeah. So this is like the this is like the extra extra critic yeah. question. There. D's. Yeah. Oh, and we got bulldoze too. <laughs> yeah, being being specter food is my favorite too. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. So we got we got both and we got D's. Maybe we'll ladder with D's at some point, but you know, <laughs> if you if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, check out Joe. That was a fun little session we did. Uh oh, and thank you for having me, man. It was a good time. Yeah, no problem no problem, man. I enjoy having you on the channel. But yeah, now I have to go record a free for all with some other people. It's a busy night for content. So yeah, have a nice night everyone. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.